Hello guys, welcome back to the uh, Spicy 3 Design channel. Uh, this content is for adult collectors. If you're under the age of 18, get the heck out of here. Alright, so uh, this is going to be a review of the uh, uh, special... Uh, what's this thing called? Special Forces figure. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a, it's a very cheesy uh, brand. Uh, seeing the apparent company for this figure is uh uh patty's toys or something like that right there you can see that hey fred stop these are not toys for cats okay <laughs> come on all right so anyway um I i'm thinking this thing is probably like made in the 90s or something like that uh does it have any information here well obviously it's made in china can see a. Uh, let's see, when is this thing made? There's no date. Okay, well, uh, this is a one six scale figure or a twelve inch figure. Uh, that's uh, pretty much like a budget friendly type of uh, you know stuff you can get for uh, if you're like a military uh, figure collector. Uh, one of the reasons why I got this figure is because uh, my customer want me to uh, make some zombies uh, using uh, these figures. And <laughs> believe it or not, I actually got this figure from Black Ops Toys. Uh, they had it listed for $10. And I'm like, well, uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good deal for something that's going to get uh, repurposed into a zombie. right? Uh, it comes with a ton of accessories. And we're going to go over that. Uh, the figure itself is actually pretty decent. The joints are really, really loose. But, you know, <laughs> it's not bad for uh, $10. So, I got all this thing for $10. I think this figure actually retails for about $25 on eBay. Most of the sellers are selling for that. Uh, again, it's a budget military figure in the 1-6 scale. So, don't expect, you know, amazing accessories, amazing outfit or anything. It's, it's just designed to be a fodder kind of thing. Or like, a, I, I guess, you know, maybe if you want to use a body, you can use a body to, uh, you know, put, put on like more high-end outfits. Uh... Let's go ahead and focus on the, uh, the packaging right there. So this body here actually has 30 points of articulation. Uh, with 27 mobile, mobile light. Mo that, that is not a word. <laughs> so I guess 27 movable joints. And uh, yeah, I mean, where do I start with this thing? It's obviously 1-6 scale with uh, 30 points of articulation with 27 movable joints and stuff like that. But it's a, it's a very, very basic figure. This is not something that I would consider uh, made for, you know, uh, high-end collectors. <laughs> this is like something you get if you want to, like, you know, start out or something. <laughs> See if you like uh, this scale or not. And obviously, uh, the plastic on they use on these figures are like really low quality. You can still smell the uh, wax that they use on the figure. So yeah, there's a very strong wax smell with these. So um, I guess we'll talk about the hand options. Obviously, he's got two of these open hands. You can see that, and then we also have these trigger fingers hands. And then we have those uh, glove hands that I put already put on the figure. Obviously, it does not come with that uh, rifle right there. I'm just putting on there because, you know, the weapons that it come with are super janky. These are just like molded pieces of plastic with no removable magazine or anything. Yeah, this is like dollar store. Dollar store stuff. <laughs> it's better than nothing. But in this case, I, I'd rather have nothing. Oh, the knife is probably the one that has like the most... Uh, well, this is probably something I can keep for my collection because I can I can probably like repaint this and make it look like a decent like, combat knife or something like that. Uh, of course, we got this pistol again, just one piece. You know, nothing special. No removable magazine, no removable slide. Again, dollar store material. Also got this... Uh, uh, holster here 
that you're supposed to be able okay well i give you that <laughs> i give it that uh it's also got this holster section which yeah you can see is it's super janky so yeah whatever <laughs> got a canteen here look at this thing is still uh they're still uh <laughs> They just rip it off the uh, 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 the sprue or the runner, and this thing is like hollow, so super cheap. And then we got the uh, walkie-talkie here again, just one piece of plastic, super cheap. What does it say? BS. Does that say BS? Look at that. that says BS, right? Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got these grenades, and obviously these are just stickers. So yeah, super super cheap. All right, so anyway, none of that matters because uh, this figure is getting repurposed into a, gonna get transformed into a zombie. It's also come with his, uh, I guess this is not a tactical vest. This is like a, uh, just one of the like the bulletproof vests or something like that. Yeah, got the play carrier on the front, and then also got the guard for the crotch. Now it's also got this uh, little loop here. Uh, this is where you're supposed to put the uh, combat knife. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not very impressive. But hey, you know what? For 10 bucks, I also actually got a discount. I used a 20% discount called on Black Op Toys. So I got this figure for like $8. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, $8. I think I can reuse the outfit, you know. Uh, come with the helmet the helmet you can also remove now the funny thing with this helmet is uh, you actually have to glue the uh, uh, the strap onto this inner part and then uh, glue the inner part onto the helmet so there you go so, so I think this is okay that you can re probably reuse this for a figure uh, it's got the well these these sunglasses are super janky <laughs> Everything on this figure is janky, but for eight dollars, yeah, don't expect like you know. I'm not gonna complain. All right, so anyway, let's go over uh, this figure real quick. It's got some boots right here. Underneath the boot, there's actually a feet right here. There's a feet inside. So these are feet type, and obviously the boot is just freaking. Uh, I think it's like plasticized PVC. So <laughs> it's very thin plasticized PVC. The the uh the outfit here, I think this is a ACU uh army camouflage uniform. Yeah, this is ACU, like the original ACU. This is actually not bad. The the outfit itself actually looks pretty decent. Like average decent, but <laughs> it's not bad. So there we go, there's that. Uh, the the shirt itself actually looks pretty okay too. It's not like something super embarrassing. Uh, okay, so actually, yeah, in my opinion, this outfit is not bad. With minus these, you know. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh wait, that's that's okay. That's just a loose string again. Like the joints are super loose. I mean, I honestly wouldn't expect too much out of this figure. Um, you can see this is not a double jointed elbow, uh, it does not have double jointed knees, but it's got this knee pad, which you can probably repurpose. Actually, no, the, these knee pads are super janky. Yeah, I, I don't expect anything out of that. This, this guy makes a great fodder. If you want the army build, like, just, you know, whatever into your collection. I think these are gonna be okay, but boy, <laughs> it's not nothing uh, really much to talk about. <laughs> uh, these are great if you want to make like you know fodders or zombies, but I definitely would not recommend these for uh, you know high end collectors unless you're just interested in making a whole bunch of uh, uh, grunts that you don't really care about. Or something yeah the head sculpt right here this is super super cheap this is like Barbie style attachment so you, you're not gonna be able to reuse this head for anything else yeah it looks better than a Ken doll uh, head sculpt just a little bit not that much better <laughs> okay well 
Uh, let's go ahead and end this video before I embar like embarrass myself some more with these. Uh, yeah, like I said, you know, this, these are like ten to twenty-five dollars one six scale figures. So uh, don't expect too much from these. These these are grateful fathers. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, uh, then by all means. Uh, that is pretty much it for this video. I honestly don't know why I'm even making this one. Uh, the only reason for it, I guess, is I don't really have too much content on this channel anymore. So there you go. There's the uh, Patties, Patties Toys uh, Special Forces uh, Soldier Guy in uh, ACU. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.